All right, let's talk about the top three healthcare SOPs. So what are SOPs? SOPs are standard operating procedures. It's the process documentation that details the exact step-by-step -step processes that you, your unit, your team, your clinic should be following to ensure that excellence is maintained and that mistakes are avoided, which is so important in the healthcare industry. So let's jump into it. Number one, patient enrollment SOP. So what is this all about? This is about when a patient walks through the doors of your clinic, what happens next? This is so important because it sets the tone for their entire experience with you, your staff, your team. So let's walk through a few of the details that could be important for including in a patient enrollment SOP. One, patient information collection. This is something you want to clearly outline uh, because it's required during the enrollment process. So this, these, this is things like personal details, medical history, contact information. You provide a checklist to ensure completeness and accuracy in that data collection. Next, insurance verification, also very important. You want to detail the steps that are involved in verifying the patient inf insurance information. And obviously this is gonna, going to be a little bit different for every clinic, um, but you wanna include guidelines for handling cases where insurance details are incomplete or require additional verification. This is something that you want documented so that your staff knows exactly what to do regardless of what scenario they're faced with. And then consent forms. You wanna specify the types of consent forms that are required for different medical procedures, appointments, so on and so on. Um, it's really important to emphasize the importance of attaining this information, um, this informed consent rather, from patients because you can't proceed without it. So you need to ensure this is documented and it's clear what your staff needs to get. All right, moving on to SOP number two, purchases of medicines. This is where we want to ensure that vendor selection and evaluation is included in your SOP. So this goes along with defining criteria for pharmaceutical vendors um, and just having a systematic process of what happens and what needs to take place when it comes to purchasing medicines um, or the process of ordering medicines for patients as they come in. Uh, ordering and receiving, this is also very important. Detailing the steps of placing an order um, for a patient uh, or for having things on hand in office. And then inventory management. You wanna make sure that you're not running low on any stock inside of your clinic. And so you want to make sure the inventory management is included in a part of a purchases of medicines, SOP. SOP number three, surgical procedures SOP. So when someone comes in for a surgery, Obviously, this is a very big deal, and you want the process documented from beginning to end for every team member and every role. So, some of the things you might want to include in these types of SOPs is a pre-operative preparation checklist. So you want to outline the necessary steps for preparing the operating room, the equipment, the staff, detailing who's involved, who's not involved, and really emphasize the importance of conducting pre-operative briefings so that everyone is on the same page. And then finally, intraoperative guidelines. So once the surgery begins taking place, you wanna make sure that a checklist is included so that standard procedures, procedures are followed. And then finally, post-operative care and documentation. After the surgery is over, what all needs to take place for the patient so that everything is included and nothing is missed. All right, so that is the end of our top three SOPs. But one last thing I wanna show you is inside of our tool Exteli, uh, our SOP creation and builder tool, we have already built out different templates that you can use and you can copy into your own workspace once you start a free trial of Exteli. So Exteli allows you to build this inside of our tool. You can jump to specific, specific steps. You can include images, you can include videos. Um, it's really powerful, you can create collections. So we have one for patient enrollment SOP. We have one for purchase of medicines. We have one also for surgical procedures. So if you would like the, the information that I just covered included in a template, you can just basically copy and paste and edit and include whatever information you want or images you want. You can go to exteli.com and start your free trial and create your own SOPs for you and your clinic.